What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Raven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon X walkthrough, the Looker Edition right here. So, in our last episode, we, uh, we did a lot. Took care of a few things, you know. Did not understand a lick of what this lady was telling us about, and got to find out that uh, Emma was a, once a crime leader or something like that. A gang leader, yeah. So, now we're going to be experiencing the next... Part of the whole looker uh, the looker events and uh, i believe this is chapter four so now we move forward and yes we're going to be getting another message in the holocaster and it's our boy looker he's like it's me looker i apologize for the interruption but could you make a heist to the uh, looker bureau there's a bit of a situation i could use your help hmm. you don't say Seems like a lot of people need my help nowadays, so let's go straight back and uh, see what the good old looker's been talking about right here. So there it is. We're not really going any far. And there he is. Look at that. He's just looking through the window. So methodically. So stoic. Kind of wondering what's going on right here. So let's go ahead and talk to our homeboy. Ah, Draven, thank you so much for your time. I need three minutes only. Emma is on my mind recently. She has been running off somewhere on her own, and often, and I was hoping to ask her to watch the office for me today, and once again, nowhere, to, nowhere can she be found. It even seems as if she did not return here last night. Her friends from the former gang seem to be on a straight and narrow path, so I hope this is not, this is not anything bad, but we're getting a message. Hmm, what's this, a hollow caster clip? An Unforgivable Crime, Chapter 4. Alrighty, okay. So we get a message right here in the Holocaster, and, well... Well, if it isn't the newscaster. We bring to you a, spe a special bulletin. Late last night, an intruder broke into the Lumioi Museum and damaged a painting. Museum staff said that the security is very tight and breaking into the museum is impossible. The culprit means uh, remains at large. Clue number one? I think so. Did you see that, Draven? Where trouble goes, Looker must follow. I am on my way to the Lumioi Museum to begin my investigations most urgently. It is straight for, uh, to the scene, uh, to the scene of the crime it is for us. Oh, wouldn't it be nice if it were true? But I actually have an appointment soon that I cannot possibly miss, so I am stuck here. I had to ask of you, uh, ask you this uh, of you, but I need you to start the investigation without me, Draven. I will be counting on you, key, your keen eyes, Draven. Go at once at the Lumioi Museum on North Boulevard and get to the bottom of this mess. Okay, alrighty, so, uh, yeah, I guess we're gonna have to go to the museum, take a look at what's going on right here, so let's go ahead and work smarter, not harder, and fly there. Let's just fly. We, we need to fly. I like flying. Who cares? Who cares if I, if, if I like flying and all that stuff? So, here it is, using Godzilla Godzilla's, uh, trusty wings to get us to... The northern section right here of Lumioi, uh, Lumioi City. Now, we need to go to the museum. I need to find... Ah, oh, it's right here. Right in front, right here, I think. I hope, I hope. And yes, this is the museum, and would you look at that. Hey, kid, listen to this. You got some time in picking today of all days to come to the museum. Or are you here because of uh, because you heard what uh, about what happened? Someone went and left some crazy graffiti on the piece of the third floor. Some kind of depraved uh, criminal, I guess, sabotaging a historic and valuable artwork. You know, this place is supposed to be, to have the strictest security, I wonder. Or, the security. I wonder how the criminal go, would get access. Head up to the top floor and you can see the outrage. Believe me, it's unbelievable. The museum director is up there now and maybe he can tell you more. Okay, alrighty, so we're gonna go up there. Yes, we're still getting charged. Sure, let's, let, yeah, we're getting, we're, we're still getting charged, even though we're investigating and all that stuff. Okay, so thank you for taking my money. So the third floor, it is, we're going to, we're going to be going right here. And this is number two, I think. Floor number two, there's nothing right here. Look at all the, the paintings and all that stuff. And let's go straight up here to floor number three. And there it is. The director is pretty pissed. Those look like boobs. I'm not going to lie, guys. Those look like boobs. So let's go ahead and talk to him. Mm-hmm. I am the museum director. May I ask you a question, young man? When you behold this graffiti, what feelings rise up within you? Do you feel that the value of this uh, glorious work of art has been defected? Does it seem too, too solid to you? 
I could say no because it looks like boobs, but I'm just gonna say yes, not an agree, not an agree. Hmm. Yes, I can understand that. That would be the common opinion, would it not? Defacing a historical piece of uh, historical piece with graffiti, defacing the history embo embodied by this great work of art. Consider the effort and pains of the artist. Well, it is simply profane to have uh, treated this work so savagely. The problem is what to do now. Trying to restore the original work may worsen the damage. I think we will have to leave it as is it, until we can decide. I suppose if the news brings a curious citizens like you to our doors, that is something of a silver lining. But who could be responsible for this shocking work? I don't know. Kind of wondering. Kind of wondering. Gets me curious every single time. But you know what? We got a mission to complete. We got to get this going. So let's move on. See what the next holocaust will give us right here. So we're going to be leaving the museum. And I believe we're going to get a message pretty soon right here. So yes, we're going to need that guide. And let's see. Talk to her. Okay, so we've already seen the outrage. That is pretty much it right there. So once we step outside, I think we might get a message, right? Yes, we do. So there's a message of the holocaster. And it is the news reporter yet again. We have another special bulletin. Pokeball th thefts have been rampant in Lumion City. The thief strikes directly after Pokemon battles when trainers let their guard down. These crimes are, through, are thought to be the work of a single individual, but the reports on the suspects feature very greatly. So authorities are struggling to identify him or her. These crimes are occurring in, occurring in, back, al in back alleys and in other places where there are few people around. Residents of Lumion City should exercise caution. So, the alleys. It would seem that the alleys are the place to go. So, we get another message yet again. And, well, let's see. Who is it? It's our boy, Looker. He's like, it's me, Looker, Draven. Would you kindly return back to the Looker Bureau post-haste? What the hell does post-haste mean? I don't know. Post-haste. I like saying that. Post-haste. Now, I... Yeah, I'm going to be lazy and just have this guy just take me to the Looker location because... This place is like a maze. So let's go to the bureau right here. That's right. We don't even need to use our Charizard. Let's just post haste. Look at that. We're post hasting back in here. And there we are in front of the door where there's no door. And Looker is waiting for us. Draven, have you seen the news? The prolonging of Pokemon continues. It is unforgivable. We have not or we have not yet closed the case in the at the museum. But when you consider how many are suffering, we must pursue the culprits. I have devised an absolutely amazing plan that will bring an immediate solution. It will be a sting operation. It appears that the criminals are targeting trainers in places where there are no witnesses. If that is, a, or that is indeed the case, then we should simply bait a trap and wait. First, the victim will go to the uh, some deserted location and act lost. The criminals will think that they've got uh, they found an easy mark, and they will surely reveal themselves. All the reports say that they are they like to challenge uh, their victims to battle before stealing their Pokemon. That's when we'll get in and get them. Right when they are, are, are distracted by the heat of the Pokemon battle, the backup, who will be hiding and watching, will appear and to help take down the criminals. Indeed, what do you think? It's without risk. It's not without ri risk, but it's quite the best plan we have. However, the plan will never succeed without you, Draven. Esteem driven, aid me, uh, aid me in this. Sure. Many thanks. I knew I could count on my partner. Now, as to our assignments, there is little to decide since you are aware that I have no Pokemon. Your role, therefore, is to play the victim in our little sting operation. I will conceal myself in the shadows and watch for my opening at, uh, to attack. Keep your Pokemon ready to spring into battle when criminals appear. I ask myself how to draw these uh, miscreants into approaching us. What we need is a place that, in, a, in this bustling city that is a little deserted, perhaps. A nice, neglected alley is uh, exactly what I have in mind. Come on, Draven. The game is afoot. Let's go. Let's get this foot. Let us begin the hunt. Close to home. The nearest alley in the, is opposite of the Gillette stand on North Boulevard. Go quickly, Draven. I will be right behind you. Okay. All right. So North Boulevard near the uh well let's see is this north boulevard yes it's north boulevard now we just got to go to the stand right here and well actually there is an there's two different kinds of uh stand alleys right here and i would like to think that it's this one right here so 
Let's see what we can actually find. Yes, we got a message. So let's see what happens. Okay, it looks like you're arriving in the back of the alley. Driven, inspect the area. The culprit may be hiding close by. I am maintaining a lookout near your position, but use every precaution. Okay, alrighty, let's get this. Let's see. Walk in. Well, we're, we're running because we're not afraid of anybody, and well, would you look at that. Hello, how you doing there? Excuse me, are you a perhaps a trainer? If you have a moment, how about a little battle with me? Sure. I'm just itching for a good battle. Let us begin at once. Okay, so here we go. Another Pokemon battle, and it is up against a suspicious woman. Question mark, question mark, question mark. Alrighty. So she is coming out with her Jellicent. Alright, bring it on. Here's guy number three, ready to kick some butt, take names, and everything else in between. Okay, alrighty. Taking that water absorb, and well, let's go right ahead and use Thunderbolt to destroy this guy right here. Anywho, guys, we are close. We are very, very close to finishing off this whole walkthrough, finally, after how many months? Uh, I believe this walkthrough, yeah, okay. Completely forget every so often, but yes, this walkthrough is, is the birthday edition, birthday special uh, walkthrough that I came out. Well, I came out with the first 10 episodes, I would like to say, yeah. And, you know, I, I just want to say that, you know, it's taken me a while. I've gotten a little lazy, but yeah, we finally get it. We're finally doing it. But I have had a, yeah, I've had a fun time playing this game, especially this right now. Look at that. We're taking on a Volcarona, and this guy right here is a stupid powerful Pokemon. Look at that. Say goodbye. And, well, I really do hope, like, if ever there are remakes of this game, they actually put in, like, some kind of, like, Z, Z kind of thing, you know, Z kind of storyline, because, I'm not gonna lie, this kind of feels a little empty. How wonderfully strong! Yes, how wonderfully strong. So, let's go ahead and talk to this lady, and she's like, oh, you have some wonderfully strong Pokemon. I wonder, young man, if you wouldn't consider giving them all to me! Oh, damn. Stop right there! Obstruction detected. Process jeopardize. Relocate hunting ground. Bam! What, what, what is that woman? She's no Pokemon, yet she can use Transform. Oh, what am I doing? This is not a time to stand around and be shocked. In fact, this is the time to dash off in pursuit. The chase is on. Now considering the direction in which she ran the angle, hmm. Draven, my brave friend, I suspect she is heading for the alley beside North Boulevard's Cafe Triste. Please go ahead and without me. I will be right behind you as soon as I can. And I have checked this place for clues. But wait, one more minute of your time. The Great Looker will restore your Pokemon before you go. Look at that. Okay, so Cafe Triste. Don't know if it's close by. This is why we got, uh, this is why we have, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, yeah, this is why we have uh, the cabs right here. That way we don't have to go so far. But I want to say it's right here. This is another alloy. And yes, we get another message. Okay, so what is next? Okay, looks like you've reached the back alley. Draven, inspect the area once more. The co but the culprit may be hiding nearby again. We'll wait for an opening and then rush into it. Cautiously, Draven, cautiously, classic precautions. Never go out of style. Hmm. You know, that was just like guessing it. I was literally guessing it, but it looks like we got a, somebody right here. And look at that. We got a little girl waiting for us. Talk to her. Hiya, you're a trainer, right? How about a Pokemon battle? Sure. I can't wait to see which Pokemon you, you, you use. Let's have a great battle. Alrighty, so who are we facing next? And we got Suspicious Child, question mark, question mark, question mark. There's a lot of people going uh, off that name as of recently. But yeah, like I was saying, guys, we're battling right here. And I'm just going to talk about a little bit more about this walkthrough and how I felt about the whole thing. Now, if you guys may have remembered, the very, like, the, the majority of this walkthrough was done off of uh, wireless can uh, a, wi a wireless capture card. And it worked out perfectly. One of the reasons why I stopped, uh, I stopped, well, I didn't get to this portion of the Pokemon walkthrough is because, uh, I don't know what it was. I still, I still don't know what it is. I'm going to probably have to call my, uh, internet provider for this one, but the internet decided to just, like, get weak on me. 
provider. I don't know. It, it just everything just got weak on me. Uh, the lagginess went like it, it just it just came up. So as soon as I found how to reuse this wired capture card right here, uh, yeah, you know, bringing this and you know eventually Pokemon Sun and Moon and all that. It th that's what's been helping. But you know, uh, like I said, guys, it's been a huge, huge huge adventure with this walkthrough itself now a lot of you guys may be asking am i going to do this for like other walkthroughs such as you know platinum because we still have quite a few events still waiting for that yes i will be you know i'll still be doing the whole event stuff for pokemon platinum it's just going to take time because unfortunately for me i may or may not have to lead the full game the game that i saved up so that right there's on me Doing this, uh, this whole event stuff, I'm going to have to, like, restart the game and then just, you know, try and beat it. And we all know how much I really, 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 really don't like Pokemon Platinum. The speed of Pokemon Platinum. It's just, it's just annoying. And right now, this Gramble is getting on my case. And there we go. Gramble defeated. Such a tanky Pokemon. And look at that. Okay, so Suspicious Child has been defeated. <laughs> Now, please tell me what your name is. Wow, Mr. Po Mr. Trainer, your Pokemon are super strong. They're so awesome, I sure wish I had Pokemon like that. I could really do well with those Pokemon. In fact, hand them over right now. Oh, not today, you crook. I will not allow it. Oh, damn. Recurring interference. And wow. Ugh. She just went off on us again. Is she really not a Pokemon? I've never seen a human jump like that. Oh, what am I doing? This is no time to stand around and be impressed. Now is now is the well now is the time to chase the culprit. Considering the direction she ran off, hmm, brave driven. Her goal must have uh, been the all the alley opposite of North Boulevard's Lumioi Station. Go ahead and go ahead without me and follow uh, close behind uh, just as soon as uh, I have checked the place for clues. No, wait, thirty seconds. How could I forget twice? Let me restore your Pokemon before you go. Okay, so Lumioi Station. Opposite Lumioi Station. Okay, so I gotta find that place. I think we have to battle her like four times or something like that. Okay, so Lumioi Station. Okay, that that's going south right there. So Lumioi Station should be right here, I think. Okay, so opposite and I think we've already been here. Yeah, I think we've already been here. We've already, uh, like, uh, been contacted. So that's not the Lumioi Station. Let's see. Where, oh, where is the Lumioi Station? It could be that. Probably. I don't know. Okay, so opposite that. Let's just go ahead and find alleyways close by. And it looks like it's right around here somewhere. Or I could be wrong. Okay. Or I may have passed by. Okay, so where the hell is it? Okay, so we're close. We're close. I think that's the Lumioi station. So with that, let's see. I gotta screw around with these angles right here. And okay, so there it is. Okay, so we're getting a message from the Holocaster, and who may it be? It's our old buddy Looker. Okay, looks like you've reached the back alley. Be good cheer, Draven. She may have gotten away to, from us twice, but this time we'll get her. Yet yeah, I wonder, this miscreant does not seem like an ordinary human being. If you get into trouble, call me. Certainly, I'll be come running. Draven, remember our, our, your precautions. Wow, okay. Alrighty, so let's go right ahead and see what we got right here. And it looks like we got a karate guy. Ah, this pain in my chest. Is this what a broken heart feels like? What is it? What, ha what has happened? Draven, my friend. Oh, dang. Huh. Come now, young man. What has happened to you? It was over in a flash. I was training here in the alley when a enchanting young lady challenged me to a battle. And then she... What'd she do? She utterly destroyed me. My heart was stolen by those brunette locks and then intently of those uh, glittering eyes. And then she took, uh, she took them. My precious Pokeballs. She took them by force. Ugh. The memory is enough to make me start crying again. Ugh. So we, so we were too late. And where did the woman go? Snivel, snivel. She went running off towards South Boulevard, I guess. Ugh. What possessed that Svet Siren? South Boulevard, huh? Hmm. Driven, there is only one alley in South Boulevard. 
exactly and precisely the same alley where you f where we first met Emma and Mimi. Go at the top speed if you please. I will do what I can to for this poor man and allow and to follow as quickly as I can. Okay, so now completely forgot where this place is. I need a I need to actually look really really look. So let's go straight to South Boulevard right here. And look at this. We are in South Boulevard. Now, there's only one alley into this whole area right here. Now, trying to look for it is the, is the mission right here. Now, this is not an alleyway. This is actually... Yeah, that's close to... Uh, that looks like Looker's Place right there. So, let's go right ahead and look for an alleyway. And, uh, well, everything and everything looks like an alleyway right here. So, let's see. Next to, the, next to the professor's lab, I think it should be right here somewhere. Given the angles, you know, I got, I've gotten so used to the Pokemon Nintendo Switch thing that you can control the angles, but this is right here ridiculous. Like, this feels primitive now. Don't want to talk shit on it, but it just it kind of does. It kind of really does. And, well, let's see. I do think that we are close by to the alleyway that we were supposed to go to. And, well, let's see. Crap baskets on a crapsicle stick. Okay, so we are now in north, uh, the north alley right here. Okay, so let's try this one more time. Where or where can we find an alleyway that is close by? Here in the south region. South area, I should say. Let's see, not right there. Where I may have passed it. Or, it, you know, it was right there just to begin with. Could be wrong. I don't know. Let's see, where or where is that alleyway now? God dang. God dang. Okay, so let's see. There's that. Where we first met where we first met her okay so let's see let's see where the heck are you alleyway can't be right here god dang it okay so I could oh there it is wow it was right there right in front of me completely missed it some of you guys are probably laughing at me right now okay so we got the message and finally looks like you've watched the, uh, you reached the back alley she's trapped like a pet rat right now According to the informa uh, to our informant, the culprit is a young woman. She won't be able to fool us with the, her clever transformations. We will not let her escape again. This time, we will certainly catch her. We'll watch for an opening, and then I'll rush in, too. I'm counting on you, Draven. Okay, all right. So let's go right ahead and uh, find this lady right here. And, well, would you look at that? She's looking all pretty right now. Welcome, welcome. Stay right up. I didn't expect uh, you to show, but here you are. <laughs> Let's get into it. Sure. That's right. No running away. Let's start. So here we go with our final battle against, well, this time it's a suspicious lady, question mark, question mark, question mark, and she is coming out with a version right here. Look at this Pokemon. Looking all strong and everything. And, well, we got Gaia ready to kick some ass right here. Now, let's see. What do we do? What do we do? Let's go with the Psychic right here. Let's make this Pokemon suffer just a tad bit, and look at that. Say goodbye to Persian. There we go. Look at this. And the suspicious lady's like, hmm, wonderful. I want that Pokeball. Hmm, she says she wanted a Pokeball. So what, what? What? What do you mean? You really do have some of the best Pokemon. So why not give it up already and hand them over to me? Oh dang! And just like that, this lady transforms into that. Holy crud. Relinquish every Pokemon you possess. Cooperate or I will take them by force. Freeze! Pokemon Thief. I will not let you finger on, uh, put, lay a finger on my partner. Oh man, that was going to go a different way. Do not obstruct me. I will eradicate you. Easy words, but not so easy to carry out. Even though I, the Great Looker, have no Pokemon, I have my fists. Ooh, damn. he's about to, uh, She's about to catch them fists right there. Holy crud. I'm trained expert. The outlook of your uh, for your is dismal. And is that Mimi? Why? Mimi, why? More, more. More, more. Mimi, that woman is dangerous. Move away from her at once. More, more. This creature, I do not understand its process. How can this be? Why would our friend, why would our Mimi act so friendly to it could not be it cannot be so. Obstruction, eradicate obstruction. Mimi, watch out! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That did not sound good.
Ugh. Why do you protect this Pokemon? I do not understand your process. Irrelevant. Commence eradication procedure. That ass, though. Wait! Stop this, Emma. Emma? Th that's right. You are... You are Emma! Is that... Is it not so? Ugh, Mimi hates all adults. The only person it loves enough to make a jump for joy is you, Emma! I am not Emma. I am Essentia. Ugh, Essentia? You cannot deceive me, Emma. You may trick an ordinary a human being eye, but you could never fake the bond between you and Mimi. Mwah! What is the matter with you, Emma? Why don't you do the why do you do these things? If you are in some sort of trouble, could you not have shared it with me? Emma, say something! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <sighs> Emma! The heck is going- Oh dang, she's going crazy, Berserker! Ah! Emma, what's wrong? Must discontinue. Oh damn, Emma! Mwah! Oh no, Emma! <laughs> Draven, forgive me. It seems that last hit got to me. Do you think you could possibly help me back to the office? Sure, why not? Totally gonna tell everybody you got your butt kicked by a cybernetic lady. Thank you for your kindness, Draven. Your help has, uh, has saved me again today. Even the Great Looker can be taken down, as you can see. The injury to my stomach, a mere trifle. Not at all cough cough painful. I may have popped by, to the, I may just pop by the hospital. It has uh, been quite a busy day, in fact. Please go home and rest yourself. Okay. So, yeah. Mimi, could you give this to Draven? I'm about to embark on a dangerous investigation, and I must venture upon this road alone. In order to preserve you all from harm, I will claim to be studying, uh, staying at the hospital and use this chance to slip away. Mwah! Ugh. My injuries may have been worse than I guessed, but I must press on. I cannot let this slow me down. Essentia. I know without a doubt that she is Emma. The suit she wears is most likely going to is do, is the doing of that man, the man I came to, uh, so far to hunt down. If I fail, I find if I fail to find to stop him, Emma right might never. I have no choice but to beg the help of a the, of the despicable. Well, look at that. Okay, so that ends chapter four of this whole adventure right here, guys. Trust me, it's about to get a little crazy in the next one. So, thank you guys again for watching. In the next episode, we are going to be, uh, you know, continuing on the Looker, the Looker adventure and seeing if this, you know, lady right here is actually Emma. So, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next.